Our sit down with former Cosby star Keisha Knight Pulliam is making headlines everywhere. The actress who played adorable Rudy Huxtable had a world turned upside down earlier this week when her husband filed for divorce. Yeah, he filed for divorce just days after she announced she was pregnant. And on top of that, he has now allegedly requested a paternity test to prove that the child really is his. Tonight, more of Michelle Turner's exclusive interview. Okay, there have been reports that said you all weren't getting along from pretty much the beginning. There were lots of arguments, yeah. lots of fights. You didn't, if birthday was in May, you didn't spend his birthday together. All of those things, are they true? It's funny how people try to spin things and I'm not gonna allow someone to rewrite the truth. Absolutely. There's feelings, there's a baby. This is a baby in the middle of this. And regardless, if we don't wanna be married, that's fine, because we agree on that. Neither one of us want to be married. You don't want to be in this I have no anymore. desire. The same day as our interview, Keisha filed her own divorce papers in response. And it appears these two didn't have a prenup. Keisha, who's reportedly worth $12 million, says she wants all the money she earned before the marriage. That includes the Cosby Show. And get this, in Ed Hartwell's docs, he stated, there's no children. Keisha points out, there are no minor children, but one is expected. Have you seen Ed Hartwell or spoken to him after the divorce filing on Monday, after he told you Monday? Mm -mm. There's nothing to say. I'm not about dragging people through the mud in the media because even with the paternity test, one day he will have to answer to her and explain to her. I don't like this. Like what? All this lying you want me to do for you. No one could have predicted this future for the former Cosby kid, but Keisha is staying positive and focusing on her family. That includes her nine-year-old stepson, EJ. That's the hardest part for me. I really, really love him. He was so excited. Every night he would hug me and say, I love you. Keish, Keish, that's a name for me. And then he'd say to the baby, and I love you. And I hate that he doesn't have that experience anymore. He deserves to be a big brother. 